Yes, yes, you doom cough, get the ropes off me. How pedestrian. <sighs> well, darling, I see that you are ever so clever. Did you ever think to ask me? No, no, of course you did not. You say to yourself, I am big, strong, super villain. I am going to kidnap Edna Mode, greatest designer of super clothing. And she will make me super clothing. Is that right, darling? Oh. What makes you think I do interior decorating, darling? I am a costume designer. I design for gods, not for doomcoffs like you. Yes, 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 you have a machine gun. That is adorable. You do realize my primary clients shoot beams from their eyes. Do you not know this? You know that I am not frightened of you, Mr. Supervillain. Oh, very well, very well. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You have my assistant. You will kill her horribly if I do not help you. Very well. First of all, I do not do interior decorating. I will not redo your villainous layer, but I can offer you a few suggestions. First of all, why are we in a cave? Oh, because it's good and safe. What do you think is going to happen when Mr. Super Strong goes punching at you? Oh yes, you're very, very fast. You showed that to me when you scooped me up at 100,000 miles per hour. <sighs> but what do you think is going to happen when you dodge Mr. Super Strong? Oh, that's right. He's going to punch into that wall and then what is going to happen to the big pointy stalactites? They're going to fall down. Oh, you're going to dodge those too, are you? Yes, you might do that. But while you're bothering to dodge him and run out of the way, what is Mr. Super Strong going to do? He's going to punch you in the face. Hmm. So, my first suggestion is you move out of this smelly, stinky cave. You're not a bat. I've worked with bats, and they have much better caves. <sighs> so, you are Mr. Fast Fast, are you not? Why not something a little more airy? Something a little high up? Well, of course, you need to be able to get there. You can't fly, I don't believe. You need to run there. So, something on a mountaintop, maybe. Well, think about it. Mr. Runny Fast Fast, it takes you, what, 2.3 seconds to run up to a mountaintop? But it takes everybody else a long time, doesn't it? Wouldn't it make sense for you to be somewhere that is hard for everyone else to get to? Oh, really, I don't understand how you manage to put on pants in the morning. And by the way, while we're talking about the pants, let's talk about what you're wearing. Let's see, what is this? You are wearing a track suit. Really? Are you a 1970s marathon runner? Why don't you just have a mustache and a headband? You look ridiculous. So, this is what I say that you do. First of all, of course, you are going to need some Kevlar weave to help withstand their tremendous pressures. How many of these pants do you go through in a week? Twelve? I bet you're robbing banks just to get more ugly pants. So, you're going to need the weave. You're going to need something streamlined. You're fast. Why is you wearing these baggy clothes? Do you know how much drag those are creating? Why, well, yes, as a matter of fact, I have made several suits for speedsters, and none of them look like they were trying to do, oh, oh, oh here comes the hammer. <sighs> so, it gets that. You want to cover your identity, I suppose. You're wearing a balaclava. 
You look like you're about to go sledding. How well can you breathe in that thing? Yes, you have to keep pulling it up to breathe, don't you? You don't have to cover your mouth, Dunkoff. And if you run super fast, that means you have to breathe super fast. Oh, you didn't realize that superhero design is part of the deal? You didn't realize that there has to be a little bit of thought in this? Oh. Okay. Let's continue. You've got your mountainous layer. How are you going to get there? You're going to run there, aren't you? So, wouldn't it make sense to have a place where you can run to, but normal people cannot get to? If you put a road there, yes, you can run across it, but so can a tank. And let me tell you, the local officials are very big with tanks when it comes to the super villains. Can you run on water? Oh, you can! Well, why don't you have a place surrounded by a moat that has no drawbridge? Yes, people can cross, but it will be very inconvenient for them. You don't have any fish people as your arch nemesis, do you? No. So, you have a moat all the way around. You zip right across and no problem whatsoever. Yes. Yes, I know. I am very smart. That's why you kidnapped me. I am Edna Mode, greatest designer of all time. I don't even do interior decorating, and I'm already giving you better advice than anyone has ever done. Clearly no one told you why not just be a hero, work with the government instead of robbing banks and putting yourself in this situation. Well, it's a little late for that now about this costume that you have here. Do you have any gadgets? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I did know that you had gadgets because they're poking out of the side of your body. How many times have you dropped that belt? Yes, quite a few. Oh, no, no, I know. You're super fast, so you go zipping back around, you pick it up off the ground, you snap it back on real quick, and you hope that nobody notices. But let me tell you, darling, cameras are getting faster all the time, and I'll bet you YouTube already has a video of your little belt going kaput. So, clearly... What you need is a belt that's part of your costume. It has to be built in there so that it can't fall off. If it's woven into the belt line, then when you put on your costume, it will be streamlined, but it won't fall off. Isn't that nice? Now, what are these amazing gadgets? Bombs. Really? Can I ask you something? Just between you and me. Why do you have bombs? Oh, so you can blow open the bank for. How fast can you run? Really? Can you run fast enough to vibrate through solid matter? You've never tried before, have you? I would recommend giving it a try, because if you can, you can run right through the brain vault and run right back out, and no one can stop you. Of course, there is the minor matter that if you do it incorrectly, you will die horribly as your molecules explode outwards as they come in contact with other matter at the same time. But these are all details, darling. Now, if you do insist on gadgets, if that is your thing, then you want things that will help you and hinder other people. You don't want things that are going to harm you. A bomb potentially could hurt you because it covers a wide area. You don't want things that say make the ground slick. It might make you sleep on it. One of yours is a ground slick, isn't it? It's an oil canister, isn't it? 
I bet it's really heavy too. I bet it makes you go sl slower because you've got it hooked onto your back, don't you? Mm. Yes, yes. Honestly, I don't know how you managed to kidnap me without tripping over and breaking your face. Yes, 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 my assistant, you'll murder her, blah, 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 blah. Okay, 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 okay. Now, so we streamline the costume. You've got air holes for your stupid mouth and your nose. You've got a body-hugging costume. Why do you think the Flash hasn't changed this costume in years? It's because it works, darling. Now, you don't have the way to hide it the way he does, but I think we could figure something out. Finally, what is this symbol on your chest? What is this? Are you not sure? What, did, what does that mean? Oh, these are the wavy lines of wind. Do you know that also means approximately in the mathematics? Yes, darling, if you do advanced calculations, calculating wind speed and shear on speedsters, you know a thing or two about mathematics. You have the approximation sign on your chest. Look ridiculous. So, you need something that is iconic. You need something that stands out, but still implies your power. Now, darling, just between you and me, how did you get this power? Mm. Yes, the explosion is very, very popular with the speedsters. But I think if we just do an explosion on your chest, people are like, are you bomb man? Are you explodey person? That's not going to work. So clearly we're not going to use the lightning bolt. One, it's taken. Two, it's done to death. Honestly, darling. You are fast as lightning, but that does not mean that you need to use lightning. You need something darker. You're a super villain. Embrace it. Go for it. Give yourself into the darkness. What kind of symbol do you think would be best? I have a suggestion. What about black bar, white bar, black bar, white bar. Oh, I am sorry. Are those for prison garments? Oh, well, I am sorry, darling, but I'm afraid that's what you're going to be wearing. You see, if you kidnapped the world's greatest costume designer, do you think that she does not have an emergency beacon on her body at all times? Do you think that my good superhero friends, which is all of them, are not converging on your center right now? Do yourself a favor, darling, and surrender. And please, consider getting out of the supervillain business.